This is a tutorial. We are going to look at a list of transactions and then categorize them into investing, financing or operating activities. All right. The first item that we have on the screen is cash sale of goods. Cash sale of goods uh, and we have to provide an answer here. Which type of cash flow is this? And then we can do some you know, working notes here. So cash sales uh, clearly means it's a cash coming in. So this first of all qualifies as a cash flow and then you have sale of goods. The sale of goods is the primary activity of the business and hence the operating activity of the business as well. I don't think there is there should be any doubt about uh, which category uh, does this transaction belong to So right here operating cash flow cash coming into the business due to sale of goods is called operating cash flow cash flow because cash is coming in operating because this is an operating activity as a result of which cash is coming in let's go forward then you have cash paid to suppliers of raw material all right now these suppliers are getting cash so certainly there is a cash flow that is involved. These suppliers would have supplied goods to the business which are being used as raw material to convert it into the finished goods that may be the purpose of the business. So clearly this is also a primary activity of the business. If it is a primary activity, it's, a, it's an operating activity. This is the purpose for which the business was created. So any cash which is coming in is going to be called operating cash flow operating cash flow note that you are paying to the suppliers this means possibly that at some point let's say t0 you would have purchased you would have purchased raw material from your supplier from let's say abc and you would not have paid him it must have been on credit but this is not the transaction that is written on the screen. What is written is at T1 at some point in time after one month, two months, one year, you are now paying, paid to the supplier. This is the transaction mentioned on the uh, screen. Here cash is involved and hence this qualifies as a cash flow and that's why we are clubbing it under operating cash flow. If the transaction was uh, uh, credit purchases, then we would not consider it as a cash flow. Okay, let's move on. You have cash payment of salaries and wages to the employees of the business. It says cash fine qualifies as a cash flow. And then you're paying salaries and wages to employees of the business. Well, that is again a primary activity of the business. You hire people to run the business this is an operating activity so any cash resulting from this activity is going to be called operating cash flow whether this is an inflow and outflow i think that's pretty straightforward so i'm not mentioning that the idea is to only look at whether this is operating non-operating uh, and then if it is non-operating then investing or financing next up you have cash payment to acquire fixed asset cash is involved so it is a cash flow you are acquiring which means you are purchasing when you purchase you have to make a payment which means this is an outflow and you are purchasing a fixed asset now purchasing the fixed asset comes under the investing activities of the business why because it helps you build up long term revenue generation capacity now you you can argue saying well if you have to generate revenue uh, if you have to make sales you have to invest in the fixed assets and they should be called uh, you know operating expenses but the idea here is to keep operating expenses to typically the short term expenses the regular expenses of the business and any uh, money committed to long term resources long term uh, assets in the business is going to be clubbed under the investing activities of course they are going to help us generate revenue help build the capacity but we're just segregating the two and we are saying uh, due to investing activities how much investments are we making 
because at the end of the day, you are interested in uh, knowing the return on investment. So we are uh, segregating the investing activities here. Therefore, this is cash flows from investing activities. So investing cash outflow. I like just flow, but it is an outflow. All right. Next up is cash proceeds from issue of shares at a premium. So cash is involved. Proceed basically means consideration. The uh, you know ex in exchange of something, what do you get? You get cash. So the proceed is a you know technical term used for cash being received. It's like the price being received uh, against the goods that are being sold. So cash proceeds from issues of shares at a premium. So shares are being issued. So there is shares and there is a premium which is being earned as well. There are two items involved, uh, two transactions involved here. So shares are being issued and the premium basically means the shares face value was 100. But now, you know, shares were issued a few years back at this point in time. The shares market value is much higher. Let's say current market value is 150. So this additional 50 is the premium that you receive. So in the books of accounts, uh, when you sell the shares at a higher rate, uh, you record the shares at the face value and whatever additional money you make, you record that you deposit then that in a separate account called securities premium account. And the word securities refers to shares. Any financial instrument can be called a security. Okay. So the shares have been issued. The money is coming in. So this is an inflow. And since we are raising funds here, what is happening here is there is a fund raise. This fund can be utilized for either the operating activities or investing activities. Does not matter. But right now fund is being raised whenever we are talking about raising the funds we are talking about financing activities so this is a financing financing cash flow of the business all right then you have payment of dividend so payment of dividend cash is involved or i should say paid dividend to just make it 100 percent sure what is dividend dividend is return on shares you issue shares 100 and i think we discussed this during the ratio analysis uh, you issue 100 shares having a face value of 10 each so thousand rupees worth of capital has been issued when you pay a dividend you pay a dividend at the rate 20 percent of the face value remember so two rupees each so uh, that is a dividend that we're talking about so you are paying to paying back to the shareholders of the company. Why are you paying them back? Because you raised capital, because you raised the capital from them. Now you are servicing that capital that you have raised from them. Now raising the capital is a financing activity and servicing that capital, servicing that resource is also clubbed under the financing activities. So I'll call it a financing cash flow. There you go. Next up is uh, interest received on investment. Now interest is being received. So cash, cash is being received due to this item called interest. You are receiving interest on an investment. Let's make an assumption that this investment is a financial investment. Financial investment. I mean, we're not purchasing an asset because asset is used in the business. You don't make money through that. But uh, financial investment, meaning you have given a loan to somebody, another company, or you have invested in the shares of a company. So uh, let's say this is a deposit. You have made a deposit in a bank account. And now you are receiving interest on this deposit. That is what it means. When you, uh, when you make an investment, it is called an investing activity. Investing activity. And now you're earning a return on this investment, which should also be called an investing activity. So this is called investing cash flow. 
all right one more time the justification is that the investment when it was made was clubbed under investing activities now you're just earning a return on that so this interest that you're earning is also categorized under the investing activities of the business then you have interest on debentures paid so if you have paid something cash is involved debenture is simply a loan that was raised earlier and i've uh, described this earlier debentures basically is loan taken from public a lot of different institutions just like shares except that it's a loan it's not uh, share capital so it's a loan and uh, now you are servicing the loan so you are servicing this loan a loan when it is taken is clubbed under financing activity and hence the servicing of the loan should also be considered a financing activity so we're going to say this is a financing cash flow i think this was straightforward because we've already uh, seen a, a category called finance cost in the income statement then you have payment of income tax now income tax is a mandatory expense it's a mandatory expense in fact companies when they report uh, their profits during the year they they report their earnings before interest and tax uh, so they say you know please do not consider taxes because the higher our income the higher is the absolute amount of tax that we pay so uh, so basically income tax is a mandatory expense should you categorize them under operating or investing or financing well we don't have any control over it however we say it is a result of the operating activities of the business we have to pay taxes so for the purpose of uh, cash flow statement when we uh, you know wherever we show the operating expenses because we pay uh, taxes as a result of the incomes and expenses of the business so we show the income tax payment under the operating activities head but does not necessarily mean that uh, income tax payment is an operating activity all right so uh, but for the purpose of so operating cash flow for the purpose of cash flow statement we consider tax as an operating activity uh, but you know you could very well argue that uh, this is not why you started the business so it's not a primary activity and so on but you know uh, for lack of other categories that we have we show income tax here then you have cash payment again cash is involved long term loan is being repaid so this is a repayment the principal is being paid back when you when you are when you took the loan you called it a financing activity now you are repaying the finance that you have raised so this also should be clubbed under financing activity of the business all right that's it so uh, in this tutorial we looked at a range of transactions and we categorized them into investing operating or financing activities i hope your learning has been reinforced and you have better understanding of the three three sub categories of uh, cash flows because we are going to make use of these three categories in preparation of the cash flow statement i'll see you in the next video